50-year-old ageless beauty reveals the secret to her youthful, radiant skin. When first confronted with Elizabeth Peyton Jones, your initial feeling might be guilt followed by a strong desire to run away. The naturopath turned cookery book author is hell-bent on persuading us to ditch the good things in life like cakes, crisps and. But why put yourself through such misery? Because food is the ultimate anti-aging ally, says Peyton Jones, a svelte brunette of 49. Most people know that the sun ages us and so does drinking. But what they don't know is that eating the wrong foods can make us look and feel old. Peyton Jones's healthy eating crusade began 20 years ago. I fell ill with a severe virus and was given a herb broth by a Russian friend who learned how to make it from her grandfather, she says. Astonished at her own rapid recovery, Peyton Jones trained as a naturopath with a view to treating others through diet and herbal remedies. I saw just how pivotal diet can be in alleviating sickness, says Peyton Jones, who is married with two stepsons and lives in Yorkshire. It really is the key to our health. Her new book, Cook Yourself Young, is designed to help us feel fresh and vibrant by learning to use and appreciate such delights as cauliflower, kale and quinoa. Here she is in her kitchen on a summer's morning, lissom and glowing, a shining example that there must be something in her theory, not least weight loss. If I adopt her super healthy approach to food, she tells me, I'll be firing on all cylinders, just like she is. It's all about eating the best foods we can, says Peyton Jones, who is not a doctor, or scientist, and makes no claim to be. You don't give a racehorse sausage rolls and expect it to win the derby. The same goes for human beings. If you feed yourself rubbish, you don't perform well. Sadly, terrible sacrifices are involved in the quest for youthful pep. Peyton Jones, who cooks without sugar, cream or salt, shuns alcohol, and eats a diet that's 50-60% raw, says that to see benefits we must eat 8 portions of veg a day. Sweet potato and kale chips from Elizabeth's book, Yuki Suji Ura We must also kiss goodbye to what she describes as addictive foods. These are the highly processed foods that contain refined or hidden sugars, salt and bad fats, a junk overload that can leave us feeling hungry and sluggish, and result in limb, lifeless hair, dull eyes and dry, wrinkled skin. That means no white pasta, white bread, white rice, shop-bought cakes or crisps pretty much anything in a box or a packet, says Peyton Jones. It also means dropping foods many of us consider virtuous, such as smoothies, too much sugar, and rice cakes, too refined and plastic. The rule is to embrace your inner hippie, which means spurning the bakery aisles and stocking up on everything from chia seeds, a mint native to South America, to daikon, a radish that looks like a fat white carrot. If you can live without pecan pie. Peyton Jones has devised a recipe using medjool dates instead of sugar, and if it's burgers that ring your bell, she offers a meat-free recipe using beetroot and quinoa. Aren't the results desperately disappointing? You need to have an open mind, says Peyton Jones, who has one vice, a daily cappuccino, made with hemp milk. My recipes are designed to be high on taste and texture, and not to leave you hungry. But what if it's too extreme for a nation in the grip of bake-off fever? If you do one good thing, the rewards can be huge, says Peyton Jones, who eats fish, keeps her own chickens and insists she loves her food. Start small, she advises, by replacing jam with a sliced pear sprinkled with cinnamon or eating a handful of raw veg daily. You'll notice the weight loss, she says. And the knock-on effect is you'll want to do more. Will we? There are other, perhaps easier, ways to look younger, whitening our teeth, taking up yoga, getting plenty of sleep, having more sex. And then there's the deep piece of doing nothing at all. What's wrong with growing old gracefully? The truth is not many of us do, says Peyton Jones. What about the French? Don't they look better for their age without having to set up camp in their local health food store? Prawn and vegetable curry from Elizabeth's book. Yuki Suji or a lot of them have a nip and a tuck, says Peyton Jones, sipping on a rosemary and mint tea, homemade, from the garden, zero caffeine. And they have a different sensibility towards food. For them, everything is in moderation, 